Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Pertiller with Service Management Leadership. We're back talking about ITIL for the New Frontier in just a, a few more uh, conversations to go. So if you think of the service value system as an architectural diagram of how things are put together, then consider that the service value chain that is nestled inside of it is the operating model. So we have an architectural diagram with one subset as the operating model that illustrates how all the puzzle pieces are fit together. Hopefully that makes sense to you. It defines six activity types that are key to delivering value streams and delivering the outcomes that our consumers care about. The, the service value chain that sits inside of the service value system it becomes the way products and services are delivered, creating value if you think about it. So what we care about on the service value chain is how do we get products and services delivered that the consumer sees as value. And so the authors of the ITIL 4 book, and I applaud them for this, they refer to this as value co-creation. How do we create things that products and services that our consumers see as value? We've all been those places where somebody gives you something and they, they act like it's a big deal of value. And you look at it and you're like, ah, not worth much anyway. And so that's not co-creation. Co-creation is me saying, I think, X is valuable and you helping me deliver X. That's co-creation. So the service value chain is the operating model that flows through the service value system from opportunity or demand all the way through value creation. Hopefully we explain that well. And we'll get into the service value chain in the next episode. I think it's pretty interesting because if you think about it as an operating model, it makes way more sense than just rotely looking at the topics. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us. Let me know how service management leadership can help your organization. I hope you have a great, great day.